of plastic and packaging and uh, especially uh, the course is basically on the environmental aspects and circular economy as you know that this uh, curtain raiser has been organized by ipmas amtech that is arvind mehta technology and entrepreneurship center a center of excellence to help the industry in uh, designing and developing their products faster uh, much faster speed better quality products and with much larger efficiency uh, i take this opportunity now uh, basically uh, to welcome all our experts panelists and uh, the concept of circular economy basically is uh, that we want to bring the knowledge of sustainability of design especially with the perspective of uh, uh, recyclability or uh, designing for sustainability and that is some something which holds a uh, very uh, great importance in today's time so that is uh, where uh, uh, the emphasis is on we have very eminent experts today who would be explaining about this module and this is the first of its kind module which has been introduced in india and we have one of the best faculty members from academia and also from the industry with this i will start with uh, introducing our uh, president of the all india plastics manufacturer association mr kishor sampat uh, mr sampat is a very successful businessman and owns a five decade dot company uh, which is into manufacturing and exporting all types of compostable poly bags and recycling in the name of polythene industries he has been serving as an office bearer in ipma for almost uh, 10 to 15 years he has also been the managing committee member for last uh, 15 years uh, he is perhaps uh, the founder of a very uh, important uh, and very uh, industry oriented vertical which is a job fair uh, through which through the platform i think thousands of students have been able to get the job in the industry so very uh, meticulous a very enthusiastic and always ready to help the industry with these uh, very few words i would request our president aipma to give his welcome address thank you very much balani ji for your kind words respected uh, panelist and stalwarts of the industry on behalf of apma zemtech and fips it gives me immense pleasure to welcome each and every one of you to this virtual curtain raiser for our upcoming events plastics in packaging environmental aspects and circular economy my dear friends my experience as a president is to have a sustainable growth in the plastic industry circular economy is not only the way but i think of has a lot of potential for us to grow it has many aspects of which we will be getting the knowledge today and it is a key for all of us to for a long term business and a more profitable business it is a knowledge and a science for which we are here to understand and recognize the opportunities and how we can take advantage atmas mtech in collaboration with the foundation of innovative packaging and sustainability is organizing this webinar which will deepen our understanding to the environmental aspects and the circular economy we are fortunately we are very fortunate and i wholeheartedly welcome the eminent speaker dr nc saha founder chairman and director fips dr anup ghosh professor polymer science and engineering iit delhi mr bihir minal minal banerjee director innovative sustainability and finance fips i also welcome mr rohit kanuga mr ravi jashnani mr manish jaria our internal champions who are working hard to grow this vertical and this objective i wish everyone all the best for this lovely knowledgeable session and i am sure that uh, this will give value and add to our knowledge 
wish you all the best all yours malani ji thank you very much uh, thank you president uh, for your welcome address uh, it has been very inspiring and motivating and thank you for uh, you know giving us a uh, uh, heads up in organizing such programs uh, with this uh, i would now like to introduce to you our chairman of uh, amtech ipmas amtech mr arvind mehta arvind bhai is also the chairman of governing council of ipma he has been president of ipma and also president of last india in past uh, also as an executive director in a international plastic association directors a uh, continent asia um, md of a very uh, well known company wellset plast distribution private limited uh, he is a visionary industry knows him very well and this entire ipmas amtech uh, the center of excellence to bring the latest technology and management practices to the industry so that they can grow faster and they can migrate from micro to small and small to medium and medium to large enterprises at a very short time and also with a vision to reduce imports into india especially of the plastic finished goods so he he has that kind of a vision and he keeps on pushing the industry and us in delivering such high quality services to the industry with these few words i would request arvind bhai to give his introductory address arvind bhai yeah so yeah. oh, thank you and uh, most welcome our dear dr shah ghosh sahab and rinal banerjee ji and we are very happy to be with you all the time and uh, your dynamic personality and uh, contributing your best to the industry plastic industry so we look more and more uh, what we call uh, uh, happening in the plastic industry means solving the problem of the, of the plastic industry with the growth now warm greetings to all i welcome you and thank you all for joining us today for this session moving towards a more circular economy could deliver benefits such as reducing pressure on the environment improving the security of the supply of raw materials increasing competitiveness stimulating innovation boosting economic growth and creating jobs a circular economy is restorative and regenerative by design this means materials constantly flow around a closed loop system rather than being used once and then discarded in the case of plastic this means simultaneous keeping the value of the plastics in the economy without leakage into the natural environment today in this webinar knowledge partner foundation of innovative that is fibs sustain will give us a glimpse of what we have been studying in this month long course today's session in plastic in packaging environmental aspects and circular economy will help us understand the concepts of the circular economy with the emphasis of plastic packaging better what is the impact of plastic packaging on environment what is the life cycle analysis or approach these are the questions everybody has in the mind what are the merits and demerits of biopolymer these are just a few questions that will be answered during the training session moreover this workshop will give a chance to participants to have a learning and interactive session wherein they can ask questions from expert directly i now welcome our eminent faculty and and thank them for joining in with us today i wish everybody a good luck i want to thank uh, our uh, participant here uh, can be seen mr samir joshi as well as our uh, friend from the south and many many dignitaries so most welcome everybody and uh, we are happy so i was talking to Dr. Uh, this is our uh, professor goes this technology helps to us to connect every from all over india so this is a plus point welcome everybody let us go for the betterment of the technology and betterment of the environment solution thank you very much yeah. uh, thank you uh, thank you arvind bhai for your address uh, with this uh, we will move to our, our uh, uh, main session and 
with the uh, introduction of our expert uh, panelist very senior members from the industry uh, professor nc saha uh, professor saha as most of you know is the founder chairman and director of uh, iip indian institute of packaging he is also the past uh, vice president of world packaging organization and past secretary general of asia packaging federation uh, one of uh, the, he is also the chairman of the is government of india or the food packaging and book on packaging published more than 15 research paper over 450 articles so one of the authorities in this subject of Uh, most of the industry knows him very well. So, Professor Ghosh is basically a professor, polymers in an institute of technology. He is also a fellow of National Academy of Sciences India, director R&D training and promotion FIPS. More than 30 years of experience, both in teaching and research, with 12 plus patents. So, 30. Thesis and hundred plus. Thesis. So he is the professional in the field of polymer technology, reactive processing of polymer blends and alloys, 3D printing of polymers. Then we are also joined by Mr. N. K. Banerjee. Uh, Mr. Banerjee is very well known in the industry with three decades of experience at SL Propac Limited, one of the very large companies in the country. Applied for more than 156 patents globally, and out of that, 55 patents got global grant. He is a director, innovation, sustainability, and finance in FIPS. A uh, very uh, well known innovator and a thought leader in the field of extruded tube packaging and allied polymer conversion printing and uh, Today, we are also joined by Mr. Ajay Desai. He is uh, the co chairman of Atma's MTech past president of IDMA, one of the very senior managing committee member of IDMA. Uh, he has, uh, in fact, been at the helm of affairs in, for various uh, major activities and initiatives of IDMA and the industry. He also owns a, a very innovative company. Basically, they are into material handling uh, system and electrical lighting fitting representing Atlanta Polyplast and Plastocraft and Atlanta. So with these uh, introductions of eminent panelists, I would request Professor Saha, Professor Ghosh, and Mr. Banerjee to take this session forward. Yeah. Uh, Deepak Bhai, yes. guess, uh, you can give me the share. Yes. Yeah. Is it visible? Deepakji, is it visible? It is visible. But, okay. Uh... okay. So, uh, am I audible, no? Uh, Dr. Shah, can you make it full screen? Yes. Is it okay? Hello? A pattern coming. What coming? Pattern block. Oh. Even now? Same. Yeah, same. Some rectangular block coming. In the middle. Uh, uh, so better to go on the same way. Yeah. I can do this way. This is okay now. This is visible, no? Still, top right one block is coming, gray color block. Yeah, where your cursor is? Let me see. That thing bandwidth. Now it is okay. Yeah, but the picture is coming clear. Presentation is not. Yeah. Even now the blocks are coming. No. No. Now it is okay. 
Okay, okay, fine. I think I'll continue. So, very good afternoon, uh, uh, our uh, Chairman, Governing Council of uh, IFMA, Orvin Mehta ji. He is also the Chairman of MTech IFMA, the President IFMA, Kishore Bhai, Co Chairman MTech, Ajay Bhai, and Deepak ji, Manish Dedi, and all the Governing Council member of All India Plastic Manufacturing Association, and the team members of our Foundation for Innovative Packaging and Sustainability. My two directors, uh, Professor Ghosh and Mr. Banerjee, and the entire team of core committee, Mr. Deepak Manchanda, Deepak Mehta, Dr. Sumit Joshi, he has just joined with us, Mr. Rahul Bhargav and Shubhash Bhattacharji. I think it's a great occasion for us because this is the uh, launch of the second program, module two, which is called Plastics in Packaging, Environmental Aspects and Circular Economy. Uh, in fact, uh, about uh, three months back, uh, Foundation for Innovative Packaging and Sustainability and our IFMA, MTech IFMA, we have signed an MOU uh, to conduct the different module of program. The first module of program, which was on material characteristics to improve, to enhance the marketability which was organized by us in the month of September very successfully. And this is the second module, which we are going to start from 18th of November. The theme of this uh, program is plastics in packaging, environmental aspects, and circular economy. Uh, dear participants, you will be, of course, you are all from the package plastic industry, and you'll be surprised that why so much you and cry about on plastics. Uh, as all of us, we know that plastic is the only packaging material uh, which occupied and which takes almost more than 55% of plastics are consumed as a packaging material. And over a period of time, it has superseded all other major packaging material like paperboard, uh, glass, and metal. Very interestingly, the plastics is the new entrant in the entire packaging world, but even though because of its numerous advantages within a short moment, short time, we find that plastics has entered in packaging arena in many areas for its applications, start from food, pharmaceutical, cosmetics, engineering product, and everywhere we find that plastic has replaced the glass, it has replaced the metal container and so on. Having said that plastic is such a wonderful material, but everything uh, we find that there are a lot of criticism has started the plastics and despite of having a lot of advantages today across the world plastic is under threat and the threat is quite obvious and which we will be discussing in this session what uh, we are going to cover our module 2. The why it is threat it is really the problem of due to plastics or it's really due to the uh, lack of or the proper post-consumer plastic packaging management issue. I think that's a question mark all of us we have been debating and discussing. And after a lot of root cause analysis, it has been established that we cannot blame to plastics. It is rather we should blame to ourselves. We as all the citizen uh, in, the, in the country, in the world, we are responsible because we only make the littering. And plastic is being blamed or victimized is all because there is no collection mechanism that's not been properly segregated and it's not been properly recycled and that is creating a problem and which leads to littering and creating an environmental pollution. To, to understand more in detail what exactly the plastic material and why so much concern about the environmental aspect and how really plastics could be put into the mechanism of the circular economy the circular economy aspect is safe from the earth, whatever the material uh, we have been using, after using in some form, it had to take it back to the society, to, to back to the earth, and that's a totally, the loop is completed as a circularity. The circularity to maintain uh, to on this, this is a very important topic, and that's why this, uh, this course we have planned, which will be starting from 18th of November till 10th of December, 2021. I'll just go through uh, the topic which we are going to cover and also the faculty member. And uh, I think um, Deepak Balani was also mentioning what the faculty will be delivering the various sessions. 
uh, I'll be taking a session along with me, my colleague, Dr. Ghosh from IIT Delhi, Mr. Banerjee, uh, he's also director of foundation. We have a faculty, Mr. Deepak Manchanda, who is our chief consultant of uh, packaging design from the foundation. Mr. Rahul Bhargav is a chief consultant of innovation. We also have a faculty, Dr. Lakshmi Raghupati, who was the director, Ministry of Forest, Environment and Climate Change. And she is also an advisor of our foundation. We also have a faculty, Professor Bimal Katir, is a professor from IIT Guwahati. We have a professor, Shompa Saha. She is an associate professor in materials and engineering from IIT Delhi. And we have Deepak Mehta, who is the managing director of Ligom. And at the same time, he's a thought leader of our foundation. And we got a guest speaker, Mr. Sapan Ray, who is an honorable executive secretary from Indian Center for Plastics and Environment. So if you look at about the 10 speakers who would be covering about 24 sessions. So let's go to what are the sessions we are going to cover it. Uh, the course, as I mentioned, it's a one month executive development program with a topic called plastics in packaging environmental aspects and circular economy. Uh, this is a total 24 session module. Uh, the classes will be held every week, Thursday and Friday, three hour session on through online mode and at uh, six hours. So in a four weeks, we have a 24 session. So the theory class is 20 session. There will be two video. And of course, we will be taking a uh, objective type of uh, test or Evaluation, I should say, it's not really test. You are all from the industry. It will be an evaluation that what you have learned and based on that, we'll be issuing a merit certificate. Uh, the criteria what have been followed in the module one, that each and every participant will get uh, attendance certificate and uh, those who will be appearing the exam and score 50% marks, they'll be getting in addition to the attendance certificate, they'll also get a pass certificate award would be given on the last day. So as per the schedule, what we have planned, and this is the way the program is going to be conducted by us. We as a knowledge partner from the Foundation for Innovative Packaging and Sustainability, uh, we have already structured the program and all the faculty from our FIPS will be delivering the sessions. In addition to that, all the topics, whichever we are covering, uh, we are also bringing out a book that book will be about 100 pages on each and every topic in details, uh, giving the illustration and uh, maybe with a graph or a photograph or a picture. The, all the speakers, they have written their article and that will be also a printed book will be given to each and every participant. The course is starting on 18 November on Thursday at three o'clock, the session one, which will be taken by Dr. Lakshmi Raghupati. Uh, she's also, a uh, visiting faculty of Terry School of Advanced Studies. She teaches the circular economy. She has got expertise. She's going to talk on concepts of circular economy with emphasis on plastics packaging. Followed by her, uh, uh, Mr. Banerjee, uh, who has a more than 30 years experience on a plastics uh, processing and a plastic packaging. He will be covering on concept of sustainability and its importance in packaging. On day two, that's on 19th of November, uh, the first session, which I'll be taking about packaging, its impact on environment. It is basically, Professor, in, yeah. Professor Shaha, are you sharing anything? You are not visible? No, we are not seeing anything. We are listening. Oh my God. That's I'm sharing, I, no? No. That's what I failed. Uh, uh, yeah, just you see. Uh, because no, the there was no, no PPT, yeah. So the, this list will be more uh, appropriate if it is visible to the. Yeah, I thought people are being. It's not here. Now we can see your screen. Okay. Now we can see your desktop. I mean, yes. Can you see yes, now? Yes, yes. But there is some two blocks are coming. Yeah, that's why I am trying to remove it yeah is yeah, it yeah, okay? yeah 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 is better I, now there is a one more on the right hand side yeah if that can be removed then yeah, yes a little bit more is it okay 
better, but it is still there. You may continue. Yeah, I can continue. So I think, as uh, I mentioned in that, Professor Ghosh, yeah. it is more of a bandwidth issue. So we should try to correct that. Yeah. 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 Or so can you mention, if you go to full screen, Professor Shah? That's a something problem coming. Let's see that. At least we it can see okay. we, Yes, yes, yes. Now, better. better, better. You may move. Okay, okay. So, so as I mentioned that on the day one, uh, Dr. Lakshmi Raghupati will be taking the session on called Concepts of Circular Economy, the emphasis on plastics packaging. And Mr. Banerjee will cover on PAC's concept of sustainability and its importance of packaging. On the day two, which is on 19th of November, the first session I'll be taking on packaging and its impact on environment. And then we have another session on packaging design for the emerging sustainable environment, which will be taken uh, from our foundation, Mr. Deepak Manchanda. Uh, and the day three, which is the second week, week two, uh, the session on 25th of November, again on Thursday at three o'clock, we have a session which is called Innovative sustainable structures of plastics uh, in packaging and its application. Mr. Banerjee will be going to cover what are really the sustainable structure, how really we can make it more circularity and how it can be a sustainable packaging material that he is going to cover. Followed by him, uh, Professor Shompa Saha from IIT Delhi. Uh, she will be covering a very important subject about the biodegradable and compostable polymer. I think there are a lot of confusion about biodegradable, oxy-biodegradable and compostable polymer, which are supposed to be the sustainable solution in case of plastic industry. And Professor Shampa will cover on this aspect. Again, the Dr. Lakshmi Raghupati, she will come on the day four on Friday, 26th of November. Uh, she'll talk about the plastics packaging waste. Uh, what is the scenario in India? As well as the global scenario, she will really give a comparative statement or comparative study, and, uh, and that that will cover on Dr. Lakshmi Raghupati. On the day four, we have another session which will be taken by Professor Bimal Katiar. Uh, he is a professor in the polymer science department from IIT Guwahati, and he will talk about manufacturing process of sustainable plastics material and quality consistency, the advantage, disadvantage, all the details. The Professor Bimal Katiar will take on the day four. We move on on the third week, uh, that is W3, the week three. Uh, we have a session. What our guest speaker, uh, Mr. Sapon Ray, who is an honorary executive secretary from Indian Center for Plastics and Environment, <coughs> he will be taking a session on collection and sorting systems of plastics packaging waste in India. And then we have a video. That video will be a uh, very interesting video as a success story, which will be shown by Mr. Sandeep Patel, who is the managing director of NEPRA. NEPRA is the only industry who has set up a plant at Indore. How really the sorting is done, the mixed plastics, that will be a session on mechanical sorting system of the plastics waste. Then on the third week, the second session, uh, second day, that is on day six, on 3rd of December, we have a session on recyclability and the life cycle analysis approach, which our, my colleague, Professor Anup Go should be taking, what is the importance of LCA study and how you can really determine the degree of recyclability that becomes very important. So there are a lot of confusion that which plastic is recyclable or not to recyclable, but we need to have scaling up that, how do you really determine the degree of recyclability? Then our uh, from foundation, our chief consultant, uh, innovation, Mr. Rahul Bhargav, he will take a session on plastics waste management and its regulatory compliance. And that will be on the day six. Then we move on the last week. Uh, we have a three, uh, two days on 9th of December. We have a session on recycling of post-consumer flexible and rigid packaging waste. Uh, we have with us Mr. Deepak Mehta. As I mentioned, he is running his own company called Libom Incorporation. They are the machinery manufacturer, but at the same time, he's a thought leader of our foundation. 
and he will be making a very interesting topic theory as well as video he will be showing how the recycling is done from the flexible post consumer flexible and rigid then we have a, a one and half hour an assessment which will be primarily on objective type questions whatever you will learn the last three weeks uh, that will be a short exam uh, maybe a 50 marks of exam as i mentioned whoever will score 50 percent marks they will be giving a merit award and uh, then on the last day we have a chemical recycling the pyrolysis process which will be again taken by mr sapon ray and uh, the last session which is again a guest speaker he is mr jignesh shah the managing director of deluxe recycling he will be showing he will be delivering a lecture and as well as he will show the process uh, the mlp which always everybody say that multi layer flexible packaging material has not really cannot be recycled but he will be talking how you can recycle it and uh, through the customized compression molding process can be converted into a composite chip board and what all is using i am told that he is a very successful businessman on this business for the last 20 years and uh, he uh, today he is able to uh, convert about 50 tons of waste material every day he has been doing in his factory and supplying to all the leading automobile industry including bajaj today in the market what you find the three wheeler the seats which were earlier as a plywood which had been completely replaced by the multi layer composite chip board which has been supplied by the jignesh and then the lastly we will have a certificate award function here attendance certificate as well as our uh, past certificate which will be awarded to the delegates so this is in general what we are going to cover in this next four weeks in terms of start from 18th of november what are the topics who are the faculty member and what more you uh what you will be gaining from this course so with this i'll stop it here and you will hear from other two colleagues professor ghosh as well as mr Banerjee. <clears throat> they will be covering about how this course is going to be beneficial for the students for the researchers and also for the industry i think two other speakers they are going to cover thank you so professor ghosh yeah, i just stopped sharing yeah yes yes Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. Good afternoon to everybody and uh, uh, the President EPMA, the distinguished members of EPMA, MTech, and uh, from our FIPS, and the potential participants who are all attending this program today. I will say that it is a very opportune moment for us uh, that we are launching now the module two of our plastics and packaging program that we have taken and um, undertaken. And this module two is uh, basically devoted to environmental aspects and circular economy, which is one of the very, very important area and challenging area and um, very upcoming for everybody to understand this particular field. And uh, also to see that uh, learn from these, how we all can be benefited from this type of course structure. And that's what we have structured this. This program is going to start from 18th November of this year. And uh, I think uh, we'll be able to cover a host of large number of programs um, uh, under, under this, as Professor Shah uh, just mentioned um, in my, before my talk. Uh, this environmental footprint is very, very important. And uh, day by day, the greater understanding of such total environmental footprint in packaging and their reflection in the regulation method is very much needed. And that's what we are trying to aim uh, in, the, in this program. And uh, this is obviously uh, going to present opportunities for improved growth and um, competitive Cost base also because we have to look for the existing material. We have to compare with the alternate material which can be beneficial for 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 this for this purpose. And then you are from various organizations. This organization uh, will need will get facilitated 
uh, from this transition uh, from this more circular economy which is which is coming and which everybody is interested uh, for this obviously this brings in you a little bit of disruption when you go for new and more sustainable materials uh, then it 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 is what we call it is called a disruption approach so we have to learn we have to be aware we get informative information on this system so that we know that widespread what is happening what are the challenges that is coming and then uh, we know specifically what we need to do and for longer term how we can keep ourselves uh, connected to the the developments that are happening in this particular area of the program with this view keeping this view in mind we have developed this module too uh, for this program of plastics and packaging and um, that and as you can see that we are covering large number of areas i'll be showing a few slides to show that how we are actively involved in this number of areas from the foundation and what we'll be covering as a as a part of the course may I share yeah is it visible yeah okay I, 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 yeah. Slide. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I, I will just start with only one slide to show our activities from the foundation side our foundation uh, is based on a knowledge platform, which is foundation for innovative packaging and sustainability uh, that we are uh, organizing this program with IPMA MTech. And uh, the motivation is to go from idea to solution in such a knowledge platform. And what is our endeavor is to provide packaging industry with innovation, technology, knowledge, and human resource, possible human resource uh, and that is our aim and with this we are launching this program today and I hope those who will be joining and those who are aspiring to join this program will be highly benefited because uh, our aim is to develop all these in terms of knowledge based personnel in the field. This is our aim and that is with this aim we are developing this module 2 program and with the other modules as you can see uh, I will try to show you. And this will finally focus on technology development. Many different technologies are happening, talking about sustainability, circular economy, new materials and packaging. We have covered already one module, so much of technology development, and we are bringing this awareness and knowledge in this. What technology initiatives we, uh, we have to take? Uh, there are lots of coordination happening in different R&D programs. When we will be delivering different lectures, we bring those aspects and that's why we have number of faculty members coming from uh, the foundation, from different academic, top level academic organization, industry and experts and eminent people in this. FIPS, from FIPS side, our foundation side, we also look for international collaboration. Uh, we look for resource efficiency versus recyclability. This will be another very important area in this module too and then promote sustainability through life cycle analysis. And also we are trying to develop packaging in the context of industry 4.0, which are the uh, newer, newer technology development uh, based on uh, artificial intelligence and other, other, other theories. Yeah, so this program is starting from November 18th. We call it environment. Uh, the plastics in packaging module two is on environmental aspects and circular economy uh, we already you can see that we have taken four modules will be line in this course module one materials enhancing marketability we have already completed very successfully uh, and and that was our purpose that once you have the material advantage knowledge awareness we can go for module two where we'll be covering environmental aspects and circular economy with all the topics as mentioned by professor Shaham. Then we plan to have module three on package design and regulatory compliance and module two, four for packaging technologies and techniques and is application for all different kinds of plastic packaging, rigid, semi-rigid and flexible packaging materials. Now, what we do, we try to, we try to obtain the sustainability in our curriculum in this program. And, and what, what we looked at it so that you get in this course the way to make more sustainable decision in your packaging, which material to use, 
does that make any benefit not only in terms of cost does it make any benefit in terms of energy also okay so we have um, the energy balance between what is the material we are using what is the material uh, going after post -consum consumer uh, uh, recyclate and the applications okay uh, I, I believe we're going to get a solid foundation in sustainable design. We'll have opportunities of designing with renewable and bio-based materials. You must have noticed that there are a number of lectures covering these materials, uh, different materials, bio-based materials, and alternate materials. Okay. Circular design principle obviously is 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 developed to create closed loop packaging system. This will be described from the very beginning of the course and will be dealt with in detail in this. I believe this will lead to business strategies that support this system. We have to think on this and uh, many of the uh, speakers will be covered in this and beyond uh, the beyond the participants who are coming from the uh, existing industry organizations and all that the the participants who are coming from the R&D institution or even as a research scholar or students will be able to broaden their knowledge in circular economy and environment. It will be a, a very good, which is uh, sometimes not being able to uh, taught in many respective engineering uh, and, and science uh, subjects. And this could be an additional subject. And obviously it will be very helpful for the career path uh, for the researchers, research scholars, and the potential young scientists who are coming out from this project. So the so the overall the course materials include the energy sourcing. That's what I said. Okay, In design optimization, life cycle analysis, effective recovering. You will see all different way of different techniques, different methods for sorting, uh, collection, sorting, recycling, and all these will be uh, covered in depth and in a, in a sequence that is very much needed. And that's why it will be very very helpful uh, for those who are joining. Let me give you a little bit on the sustainable development. If you see the World Commission on Environment and Development in the 1987, they have published for our common future that sustainable development is meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. And when we are when we are going through the, our businesses, our our planning our knowledge development, uh, our awareness, we should keep this in mind. And this will be our uh, aim in this total project. And uh, considering these future and present needs, when we make decisions uh, for sus related to sustainability, we have to look into resource and energy use. We have to look into technology developments. We have to look into direction of in investments and what are the social, political, and institutional changes, uh, many, many things which are happening. And these will be uh, all connected in our series of lectures and which can enrich this program uh, so that you, we, we can get a, a total uh, knowledge development in, in this program. Just briefly, uh, that we talk about circular economy, it can be, it is always like a linear economy model, okay? So linear economy model also has prosperity, innovation, and global supply of chain, but we may not have to look into when it goes into, after making it goes into disposal, we may not have uh, taken into consideration of circular economy, which we can see on the right-hand side where we can recycle can come into the picture. And you have a circular economy model, which have a continuous economic growth, sustainability, and social responsibilities all coming into picture. And this will be uh, the aim of this program in overall, uh, this will be covered uh, for this purpose. Are we prepared for eco implementation? All different kinds of materials are used in packaging. We are covering the plastics part in this, okay? All materials have uh, different, different uh, advantages, challenges, and they can perform differently. They have different trade-offs. No material is universally uh, ideally applicable. So we look into that through the life cycle analysis, which we'll be presenting it here so that we preserve the value of plastics and to efficiently design and uh, products for best possible post-consumer uses. We can do that. You can see that the environmental a, 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 a impact uh, can be balanced, can be evaluated, can be accounted for, and we can take a, a very, a very uh, knowledge-based decision 
that what kind of packaging even in plastic packaging you compare between one of the one kind of packaging with other kind of packaging not only we are comparing with the plastic packaging with other material packaging okay so that can be done in terms of uses recycling raw material manufacturing and distribution and i must say uh, all of them will be covered in that and we 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 will be trying to do a drive our thinking with the circular economy thinking material efficiency and carbon footprint that again how do we do that so that we can effectively take it into the material selection we can effectively take it into the product development you can take effectively take it into the business development that are, are we looking into it are, am i doing it responsibly am i doing with the benefit even why not to do that uh, in terms of our advantages that's what that's what we'll be doing it and the life cycle assessment will be one of them to, to take care of that so i i like to emphasize i would like to show that these will be the benefits of this product uh, the benefit of this course uh, 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 through the all the uh, the selected topics that we have considered and i i, I really urge you that uh, you join in full force and i think you will be uh, go with a and the, the booklets will be also given with all the topics which have been covered uh, and that will be covered uh, in the lectures for this i will i will uh, mostly stop here because these are the uh, 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 the main uh, topics which is already covered by professor shah and what i like to say that why not we think in such a way that we have effect on Im, impact on environment we should have more awareness that's what we are trying to do with these courses this course should give more knowledge this should course should give us more living with consequences and more opportunities to act so let's join and let's have learning and advantage and information from this course and thank you thank you for your kind attention thank you yeah so may i request uh, banerjee. banerjee mr banerjee to yes take over yeah let me see how i stop one minute yeah for you mr banerjee yeah just give me one minute let me see if i can Yeah, I am. Uh, I know uh, presenting from Calcutta bandwidth is not so good, but uh, I'll try. If I get slide, it will be easier. you can share yeah i can just give me sharing is there yeah can you can you see no not yet okay Uh, if you're facing bandwidth issues, you can put off your camera and then do the presentation. It might help. Okay, I'll do that. I think. Yeah.
can you see no yes 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 okay i mean sorry for this delay so i switch up my uh, my face not so good though it is dark outside in calcutta so i'll go by the first line yeah program is going on ah mrinal ji yeah. can you make it full screen ha huh? done yeah 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 so you know this i'll talk about little bit about first module what we design and how was the response and all this so uh, in the first module we have learned the basics of various polymers and allied inputs like additive master batch etc and um, uh, how it is being used in different processes and all this so this we have uh, uh, we have uh, learned and though uh, you know a lot of participant they were having knowledge on that but it is more like a refreshing uh, and we believe that um, uh, with this particular uh, course on uh, sustainability and uh, environmental aspects and circularity it will come handy so once we know the basics and what we have been using and how to manipulate that and adjust that uh, for for future generation packaging design it will be easier and we have also learned in our first module uh, how to identify and characterize you know these are very important aspect uh, whatever uh, material we get raw material and what is the tds shows you know technical data sheet uh, data sheet or whatever we are um, uh, told whether actually it is um, uh, there those characteristic these are very important otherwise we will not get product consistency and quality so we'll have more reject and you know you'll uh, you'll appreciate that in spite of having a you know mighty machines well designed machine new generation most of the time they were multinational always they they pressurize industry to have you know more new generation model in industry 3 industry 4 uh, those kind of machines so you know one uh, uh, get you know very surprised you know in spite of having such a you know sophisticated machines with computer control spc statistical process control why this reject coming in consistency that because of uh, you know most of the time i have seen in my uh, you know working uh, years that material inconsistency is the is the you know main uh, killer and the problematic so we have uh, you know try to understand that identification characterization this is not only for the raw material but we have also learned once we make a finish goods how to assure that uh, this is the you know particular characteristics of the material specification what customer they they uh, wrote in their purchase order yes i am giving the similar uh, not more not less so that's why you know the characterization of the finished goods also very important so we have learned that so we have learned about optimizing resource uh, you know different uh, cost control measure production efficiency energy efficiency quality protocol design of experiment so these we have learned in our first module so uh, going forward what we are going to learn you know how uh, participants and industry will be benefited from such course um, and uh, you know uh, hands on training uh, so uh, we we'll learn uh, between you know the uh, circular economy and uh, linear economy related how the design play a greater role and um, uh, this design uh, we can have different uh, school of thought one may be uh, uh, very carefully designed for a single use shorter shelf life one time but here also the shorter is very subjective terms you know the uh, the modern trade requires certain you know kind of uh, uh, supply chain uh, uh, kind of days or months or weeks so uh, even uh, product uh, with the primary and secondary packaging uh, in optimize uh, scenario it has to last so what uh, i always used to say that you know half life half means adha life half life of the primary packaging has to be such that it satisfy the the 
product shelf life. So a product is meant for say uh, 15 days. So half life of the package in full uh, potency, it has to leave 15 days minimum. So by chance it goes to uh, uh, say one month. So still something to uh, to remain there. So it will get, start deteriorating primary packaging with the biodegradability or you know uh, uh, partly oxo or whatever you say. So packaging strength efficacy that will come um, or that will decay after 15 days or after one month. So this one month or 15 days or six months or two years of any uh, 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 to we call uh, uh, compostable, biodegradable or any polymer, it has to last that minimum required shelf life. Then the decay should start. Otherwise, you know, from the day one, as soon as we fill the product inside, the decay should not come. Then the taste will go, product will get spoiled, it will be more messy than good. So you cannot have only one that polymer, end of the day, it should go and compost. This will be more like a linear. You produce something um, uh, target in mind that end of the life, it should go to the compost. But in circular economy, so material for to use, we'll have to see how this material goes through all these uh, uh, precise requirement, product requirement, including transportation and everything storage in uh, uh, different uh, harsh condition. But yet, end of the shelf life, that uh, our plastic packaging, uh, whatever we design, that last, and end of that, if we can collect in cleanly without any uh, cross-contamination by biological waste and all this, if we uh, can think whether that can be uh, reused by melting and different process and all this with the original design. And that is the true sense of circular economy. So in this training, we would like to address that aspect, you know, basically design and how different polymer behave. So that we'll try to do. And we have already know that there are different uh, ways of uh, using uh, packaging waste, uh, post-consumer uh, recyclate, uh, in uh, in uh, uh, in uh, primary packaging, it already being done abroad in U.S. Europe, uh, in India. Uh, I am it is I am sure it is going to come. And uh, we also know that in India we import uh, PCR certified, FDA certified, or European Commission certified material, and that we make uh, uh, basic web stock or primary packaging and that goes again uh, back to US and Europe. But why not India we can use, but I'm sure this is going to come round the corner. So we'll also learn uh, as uh, Professor Ho says, you know, biopolymer, biodegradable, compostable polymer, we'll be knowing this and merits and demerits and all this. So if we want to uh, think about a circular economy, so there may be a, a you know, healthy debate required whether uh, biopolymer is good for you know all the packaging design, so that is very interesting thing, and we'll see that prevailing uh, recycling technique uh, uh, globally and in India, whether it is uh, enough sufficient or we need to do more and all this. So industry and participant, I am very sure will find uh, this particular module two having completed the module one is very interesting. And I will have you have loads of questions and all this and uh, uh, believe you me, we are there for you. We are not like a you know one time um, give lecture and then go not like that. Anytime you need our help, we'll be there for you. Uh, I think uh, that's all from my side. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, that's all. I think, I think uh, Deepak Bhai, you can uh, take over now. Yeah. Ajay, Ajay, Ajay Ji. Ah, ah, bolio. Uh, yeah. So, 
can we get into the thanksgiving or we are do we uh, take over a uh, question answer so i think uh, if we have questions uh, we uh, we can look at uh, so, uh, giving solutions to people's queries yeah uh, shiraz can you read out the questions yes sir uh, am i audible yes yeah uh, so there's one question which has come in. Uh, will there be any case study wise examples and any practicality studies or exposure in this course? Yeah. Uh, can you repeat the question, Shiraj? The question is Will there be any case studies? case study wise examples and any practicality studies or exposure to this in this course yes yes definitely in fact uh, our uh, the video session the two video sessions are both are case studies uh, the sessions which will be talking about uh, by deluxe recycling is a case study and uh, the nepra is also going to case study plus uh, uh, Mr. Deepak Mehta, who is going to talk about a case study, and uh, he'll be also talking what are the opportunities of the recycling business. So, if you and plus all the speakers, whenever we are talking, everybody will be giving number of examples of the case study. So, I'm sure that you will get uh, the information as per your query. But we would appreciate uh, our based on our experience whenever the program going on. Uh, the participant you are joining if you join the course you should interact with us with the questions that would help us you know to give you more because our experience with the module one was very good because a lot of questions came from the participants and we also enjoy to reply to them uh, there is one question from mr vishnu vardhan uh, you were suggesting that uh, instead of trying to uh, do the seminars on uh, Friday, Saturday he is suggesting Thursday, Friday and timing he is suggesting is 3 to 6 p.m. This is a suggestion for consideration. Then uh, Mr. Kishore Sampot has asked a question. If you miss session from some uh, reason, will recording uh, will be available? I think uh, our website will carry the uh recording of all the sessions uh yes and uh, they will be able to access for uh, a fortnight on our website so yes. there should not be any problem for if people somehow have missed some uh, few minutes or uh, that particular session they will be able to go onto the website and uh, uh, find out what uh, was being presented Any other questions, uh, Shiraz, which have been uh, posted? I could only see these many. So there's one question put up by Mr. Yeah, there's one question put up by Mr. Brijesh Ladani that how can we register for this program? So, so in answer to your query, uh, our, my colleague, uh, Mr. Anike Chinde, will be in touch with you, and he will guide you through the steps. Yeah. Other than that, I see no other questions, sir. So. I think, uh, sorry, Shiraz, you give the number. No? I think uh, you post the email ID and uh, number of Aniket and put it uh, in the chat box. Chat group. Yes, and uh, maybe what happens, can let uh, our uh, Aniket or his team member can uh, get in touch with him also and try to uh, help him to register. Put in always put sure, in sir. Right, box, I'll put it in right now. Thank you. I think uh, there being uh, no further questions, I would uh, take up this uh, last uh, onerous thing. A very good evening to all present. Today's webinar was presented as a precursor to the workshop on plastics in packaging covering the subject of environment aspects and circular economy to be conducted between 18 November to 10 December on every Thursday and Friday between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. The circular economy is a model of production and consumption which involves sharing, leasing, reusing, repairing, refurbishing, 
and recycling existing materials and products as far as possible. In this way, the life cycle of products is extended. In practice, it implies re reducing waste to a minimum. When a product reaches the end of its life, its materials are kept within the economy wherever possible. These can be productively used again and again, thereby creating further value. It gives me immense pleasure to present a hearty vote of thanks to all the dignitaries <coughs> present here. I would like to thank our distinguished speakers from our knowledge partners, FIPS, Dr. N.C. Shaha, Founder, Chairman and Director, FIPS, Dr. Anup Ghosh, Professor, Polymer Science and Engineering, IIT, Delhi, Mr. Minal Benerji, Director, Innovations, Stability and Finance, FIPS, for their insights into what, what are what we are will uh, learn from the upcoming workshop and team members of uh, fips mr deepak manchanda ji suhas bhattacharya ji deepak mehta ji dr samir joshi for their august presence i express our gratitude <laughs> to you wonderful attendees who have turned up in such great numbers. Thank you so much for your cooperation. My thanks to Kishore Bhai Sampat, President AIPMA, Mr. Arvind Mehta, Chairman EPMAS MTech for their guidance, and to my colleagues, Rohit Kanuga, Mr. Ravi Jasnani, Mr. Manish Dedia, the internal champions for all the, their support extended in bringing this workshop to you and Mr. Deepak Balani, DG EPMA and team for <coughs> contribution for success of webinar today. A pleasant evening to all one and all. Thank you. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Yes. Thank you so much. Happy great Happy Diwali, Diwali to you. all. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy Diwali. Uh, uh, this uh, precursor. Right, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank, you. Sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Kishore Bhai. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Dr. You. Shah, for uh, really guiding the industry to a better uh, topic. I think it's the most important topic. Yes. I think we will have a wonderful. Thank you. I'm wishing you all a happy Diwali. All our delegates. Happy yeah. Diwali. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Nice being with you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks a lot.